when I got the news of my diagnosis, my whole world just came crumbling down. My mom was diagnosed with cancer, the same cancer five years ago, and I was about to go through what she went through. My name is Norita. This is my mother. We are both breast cancer survivors. My family has always been a priority in my life. When I was a child, we used to travel as a family. We go balik kampung. Um, my father was a seaman, so he loves exploring, you know, crude and corners of places. So I really do enjoy traveling and checking new places out with him. Lorita, kecil-kecil, dengan saya, wah, rapat. Ha. Saya pergi pasar, dia ikut saya. Saya suruh apa semua dia bikin. Eh, tolong. So when I was young, my parents were very understanding, were very kind, very supportive. And now that I'm a parent, I should be doing the same thing to my children. My mom was diagnosed with breast cancer stage 2 in 2015. As a daughter, I was very shocked. We were very devastated. Macam mak tak boleh terima lah macam mak kena sakit kanser ni. Susah hati kita nak hidup ke mati ke kita takut kan eh. Kali bapak kau banyak support mak sabar sakit gini macam lah. Dia banyak, banyak tolong mak lah. I was very touched by the outstanding character of my father. I was so glad to to witness that in my family and to have someone of such character in my family. If he's still around, um, Bapa, thank you for being there for me. Thank you for carrying our family for that many years, and I really miss you a lot. I was diagnosed with breast cancer stage two uh, in 2020 when I was pregnant at 34 weeks. Tak sangka lah dia kena kanser. Terkejut saya lah. Macam, ya sampai dua orang kena kanser ni macam. Uh, saya cakap dengan dia, saya support dia lah. Jangan takut, saya sudah kena ni macam lah. Pergi hospital pergi, check up pergi. Anak saya tengok. It was a roller coaster, really it was. The first two days of chemo was very, very bad. The side effect was horrible. But after a few days, my energy kicks in. I would seize that opportunity to do some nice activities with my kids. Sometimes I go extreme. I told my doctor, I went to Ubin hiking with my children and my sister. And he was like, that's wonderful. I think having people who not give in to you being weak, right? It gives you that sense of boost, you see. I couldn't imagine not having my mom, my father, and my husband, my sister by my side. They are actually my pillars of strength and especially my children. I remember I received enormous support from the hospital personnel, doctors, the nurses, you know. They make themselves available and they are very supportive. Although cancer is very traumatizing, you know, something that I would never wish for, but somehow this illness has brought us closer. We are more caring towards each other. I would see every opportunity that I can spend with my family, you know, it, as a blessing. You know, I truly appreciate them for being there for me throughout the whole cancer journey. My advice would be to listen to your body. If something is not right, then you need to quickly get yourself checked. Do not procrastinate because I think that's what I did. We are now currently on remission. We are cancer survivors. Um, we are very grateful that we are given um, another chance, you know, to, um, to live and we feel so blessed. Cancer has taught me about uncertainty of life. Having to face this test, right, you will 
seize opportunity, whatever that is in front of you. Alhamdulillah, selamat. Untunglah macam, jangan datang lagi dah sakit ni macam lah. 